Wedding filmmaking is definitely not for everyone, but I think it could be a great place to start for anyone. Even if you think you'd never in a million years want to shoot a wedding, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the reasons you actually may want to try it out. And I'll give you some practical steps on going from never shooting a wedding to booking your first couple. So right now, a lot of my income has come from shooting weddings. Like, they can pay a lot if you know what you're doing. Now, if you're interested in me shooting your wedding, um, hire me. Um, <laughs> or if I've shot you before, um, I'm totally not talking about you in this next part. Weddings are not my favorite thing to shoot. <laughs> um, sometimes they can be great, um, but sometimes they can be the worst, depending on the couple. But they're great practice and they can pay well. In the beginning, they help you to work under pressure and work quickly to create beautiful emotion or story-driven images. Let's just say you want to be a uh, documentary filmmaker. Make Weddings your first mini docs that'll help you in your future as a documentary filmmaker. On top of all the things you'll learn about filmmaking, uh, they'll also teach you a ton of stuff about um, client relations, payments, contracts, other stuff that I can't remember uh, or didn't think of because I was too lazy. Marketing yourself, that was one of them. So if you've decided, all right, Dylan, I'll start shooting weddings, what's the worst that could happen? The best way to start shooting weddings as a beginner, uh, in my opinion, is to find a wedding ph a photographer or videographer um, and ask if you can shoot with them for free. Then, once you get a couple of videos under your belt for a portfolio, you can start advertising your wedding videography business. Now, a couple ways to get hired. The first is you can offer to shoot friends or family's weddings. If you know someone getting married, then ask if they'll support you on your new business venture by letting you shoot them with a, with a camera. The way I recommend the most is advertising on wedding planning websites. I use uh, Wedding Pro uh, to advertise on the Knot in Wedding Wire, and I get most of my bookings from there because they put your work in front of people who are looking to hire someone just like you. Potential clients will also be able to read through reviews from previous clients, which is a great converter. Another way to get jobs if you don't want to pay for advertisements is to join wedding Facebook groups. Sometimes they ask for videographer recommendations and you can just pop in and be like, hey, I shoot video. And these couples usually have a smaller budget, but hey, some work is better than no work. The one that works the least amount is word of mouth. Um, I've maybe gotten like four or five weddings from word of mouth. Um, it's valuable, but yeah, don't depend on it. I also highly recommend posting about your new wedding videography or photography business um, you know, on your chosen social media platform because it's always better to have an online presence. But also, once you have a few weddings under your belt, then you can put together a showreel, post that, and even boost that post to get some new clients. Now, the biggest benefit of shooting weddings, besides the money, <laughs> is probably the opportunity to tell a unique and special story for each couple. You'll have a chance to capture some of the most important parts of people's lives and create a video that they'll cherish forever. I mean, it's really fun to make people weep while watching your video. So if you're still on the fence about shooting a wedding, I say just try it out. Uh, it may not be your dream career, but it could definitely be a stepping stone to get you there. And who knows, you may just discover that shooting weddings actually was your dream career. But if you're scared to shoot weddings because you're afraid you don't have the knowledge or skill set to do so, then I encourage you to watch this video about overcoming that exact fear. Okay, thanks. <laughs>